All right, welcome to The Robert Show. I'm here at the Small Data SF, and look who are with me, co-founder and CEO of Mother Duck. Uh, super excited because uh, I think you and Ryan have come up with a new entity, and that's like Small Data SF. So super excited to be here at this conference. I've been, you know, already enjoying all the sessions, networking with, you know, the best leaders in this space, and uh, all the great partners that you all have around. So, first of all, welcome to the Ravid Show, Jordan. First time that I'm hosting you, I remember. Yeah, thanks I so think much. So. Great to get a chance to, 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 to speak with you. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm kind of also curious to, you know, learn, why did you start Small Data SF? I think we had really, we had really started to recognize that um, a lot of people had small data. They were kind of um, using big data tools. They were using things that might be too complex for them or com more complex than they actually needed. Mm. And um, and there was a little bit of a feeling of, um, I don't know, almost insecurity around like, oh, I it must not be a real like data engineer or data analyst if I'm using like data sizes that aren't, aren't enormous. And we sort of wanted to norm normalize it yep. and get people to recognize that like, hey, like big data is actually pretty rare. And like to have giant amounts of data is is not all that common. And then as soon as you start to uh, recognize that you know your data size might not be, be be enormous or there might be a more important things than your data scale then you can actually come up with really interesting and really different architectures about how you where you put your data you know being able to run stuff locally being able to run stuff on the edge being mm. able to sort of balance um, you know doing doing things differently and that to me that's exciting for so long it was sort of everything well oh you just run everything on the cloud everything in the cloud it's got to run in these like ec2 boxes and there's just a whole world of like other types of things you can do out there but if you're if you're so focused on like oh i have to make sure that it works with this petabyte data set then you're going to miss out on these opportunities. Yeah, no, I think I agree completely on on that front because I've been talking to a few enterprise leaders out there and, you know, been listening about the longer project time. Sometimes, you know, there are small, you're working, you can work on small data, you can have those pieces into the game and work on small data and make it, uh, you know, get a good turnaround. So what do you think about when it comes to enterprises as well? What's your thought? Uh, what have you been hearing when you talk about small data, how excited they are? Well, I guess the thing is, a lot of enterprises, they're like, well, you know, I, I get what you're saying about small mm. data, but like, but we've got big data. Trust me, we've got big data. Yeah. Like, we've got all this data sitting there, like, you know, on, on S3 and like, you know, we collect it over time and it just sort of gets bigger and bigger. Yeah. Um, but I think one of the other things we're trying to, you know, communicate is that just because you have like a lot of data that just sort of sits there doesn't actually mean that your data problems are big. Mm. And um, and that's another thing we're trying to sort of separate out is that like if you, you know, the, the, the size of data that's actually important is the size of data that you use. Right. And so a lot of people, like all they do is like they look at the last seven days worth of logs. Mm. Actually, you know, Netflix, my understanding is that like all of their all of the work that they do is over the last seven days, and that's always fit for the lifetime of Netflix. It's always fit on a single machine, mm. and so um, you know, kind of if, if they can do you know single machine computation, then pretty much anybody can. But I think right. for the most part, enterprises are a little bit slow to recognize this. I think they're like they kind of got maybe burned by the sort of the Hadoop days and the sort of like hey you know big data big data is like. They're like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be ready for big data, <laughs> and then, uh, and you know, kind of, you tell them like, well, you don't actually need all that stuff. Um, I think they, they, they need a little bit more convincing, and so that's yeah. part of what this is about is just sort of like being able to come up with a compelling argument that, you know, hey, what you're doing might be overcomplicated, and you're mm. missing out on, on you know, actually building better experiences and having you know, having more useful things you can do with your data. Because at the end of the day, the only reason you have data is so that you can use it and you can derive insights from it. Right. And if it just sits there, then like, then you're, you know, and it's just, you know, wasting, wasting space. Yeah, no, I think uh, you've kind of made a very important point there in terms of, you know, the machine. And I know I read the small data, uh, you know, manifesto as well. I see such some important points that you all have mentioned in there. And I heard your talk just right now, and I'm kind of curious, and I'm, I would love the audience to also get a little bit of flavor. I know this will, all the sessions will be on demand for them to watch. But would you like to share a little about 
the talk that you gave, a little bit, a few key takeaways from uh, your talk as well. Sure, I, you know, I went through the kind of the history of or why, right. you know, the rise and fall of big data and, you know, kind of from the Hadoop era where data really was getting, getting larger and, um, and people didn't have the capacity to deal with it. And then there was a change in how people did computation. You know, Google came in with this sort of the MapReduce paper and Hadoop, mm. Hadoop came to, to the fore. Um, and I, you know, I think it really broke people's brains and how they thought about these, these systems. Like, hey, you have to scale out, scale out these lots and lots of systems. And so everything that people built for so long was just sort of built on that architecture from BigQuery, Snowflake, you know, Spanner, Cockroach, like all of these, all of these, you know, all the NoSQL databases, and um, and then it turns out like that, you know, that was that was overkill because then, you know, what mm. has happened in the last decade and a half or two decades is the machines have gotten a lot bigger. So instead, of what you right. used to have to do on like, you know, a hundred machines now fits on one. One. And cool. if you can fit it on one, it can be so much, so much simpler. Like there's a there's a tax that you pay when you have big data systems, you have these big distributed systems, you know, things are going to be slower, things will be more complex, you know, and um, and you're going to move more slowly. And that's the also the exciting things about small data, is yeah. you can innovate really fast. It's like everything is just, everything's local, the, 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 the turnaround is, is super fast. Mm. And so I also helped kind of come up with like a couple of principles for dealing with small data, you know, including like, hey, if, if, uh, if latency is important, then you know, move things to the user. Like yeah. in, in big data, you want to move the compute to the you want to move the compute to the data because it's so expensive to move the data. But if data is small, move it to the user, and then the user can do like really, really fast, low latency, low latency stuff. Mm. Um, and then you know, if if cost is important, then you can move it to wherever wherever the wherever is low cost. Simplicity is better than scalability. So like the you know premature optimization tends to be the root of all evil. So you don't want to over Overly optimized for scale. Mm. And when you do that, you know it opens it opens up for you know, you know new new types of architectures as I as I was saying. And so we're yeah we're really trying to sort of build a community around the idea behind small data. Nice people that, people that believe that you know there's more important things than the size of your data, <laughs> and um, and get exciting people like we have an, an amazing lineup of of of. Uh, of, of speakers, True. Uh, including including yourself. Thank uh, you. Yeah, and um, you know, which which I think has also enabled us to attract a lot of a lot of great um, attendees. We have, um, I think, I was looking at the signups this morning. Something like a third of all the signups are startup founders, and so I think you know, also for people that are building new and different things, like the idea of small data is really kind of compelling because they can move fast it's sort of mm. where the world is where the where the world is going rather than where it's where it's been and then also just to the fact that you can build these new architectures um, is I think also ex exciting you can tie in AI and you can tie in sort of a lot of a lot of different pieces uh, and um, you know build something build something new and that's what we all that's what we all want to do we all want to kind of build build something new and, and meaningful exactly what I'm kind of hearing is and echoing at your is like and this is also my favorite question here at this conference is like, is this the new, small data is the new moment? I, is it the new big thing that we can look forward to? You know, uh, we would like <laughs> it to be. I mean, we believe, we believe very strongly in, in small data. We believe that it's yep. sort of as big of a change as kind of the, 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 as the, big, the, big data, the big data movement was. And I think as soon as people start to wrap their heads mm. around it, it's just going to be this flowering of kind of new, new ways of new ways of doing things and right. new ways of connecting connecting pieces and providing better you know better experiences for users, which is at the end of the day is the the important thing. Yeah, exactly. Okay, one last question, Jordan. I know uh, the conference is getting busier. I I want to also attend all the sessions. I'm just enjoying everything here. Uh, thanks for the experience. Uh, one last question: If people want to reach out, learn more about small data. How can they follow and, you know, obviously, how can they just keep learning more about small data? Because this looks like, okay, we'll have more commentary going out in the future as well about small data. And is this an annual conference that we can expect every year now? <laughs> um, well, we, you know, the, the goal was to, to put on something that got people excited. Right. And, uh, and if, people, if people get excited, and, if, and we will definitely continue, continue to do these. We had, there was... Like we had amazing speakers, but there was a lot of speakers who were like, "Well, I, you know, I'm out of town, or I, I have like something else going on, or," um, 
And so we have a, a list of speakers for next year if we if we want to. Exactly. There People somebody... reached out to me as well. They were like, uh, I want to speak at this conference. Uh, it's a full pack agenda. Is there, you know, a day three to it? Because I know you all did like the workshops today. There was, you know, one day complete event about speaking. And then they felt that, oh, there's another day where there'll be an agenda. So they, we can always uh, now see the excitement already. Yeah, and we have people traveling like from from Finland, from like from other parts of Europe. Exactly. Um, uh, which, you know, some people said we you know we'd love to do this if you know, but it's um, uh, you know I, I wish it was in my I wish it was in my location. So maybe yeah. we'll do it in other other locations. There was uh, at least somebody I was talking to came from. Um, uh, they were at Big Data London last week. Same here. Big data London last week. <laughs> you know, small data San Francisco uh, th this week, and so I think the next the next step in that uh, in that progression has got to be like no data Hawaii. <laughs> I love it, uh, Jordan. Uh, those are fantastic insights. Uh, I know people can reach out to you on LinkedIn and uh, maybe Twitter X. Uh, that's yep. where people can follow and keep a tap on what's happening in small data, but at Mother Duck as well. Yeah, right? Absolutely. Yeah, I think you know Mother Duck. You know, is really kind of, I think, helping to try to drive this uh, this small data I idea, and um, uh, and it's but it's not just about us. It's it's about you know building a community and having people that that all kind of have uh, have similar goals. We love it. Thanks, Jordan, for your time today, and uh, definitely looking forward to enjoying the conference, meeting different sort of uh, amazing people who are excited about the topic, and uh, we'll keep the conversation going. Fantastic. Thanks. So Thank much. you very much. Appreciate it.